Hi, my name is Sozica. And my name is Anna. We are postdoctoral researcher working in Queen Mary University of London in the Department of Material Science and Engineering. We are analytical chemists and we are involved in elite sport research. ESPRI specializes in elite sport performance research. ESPRI develops technology to wirelessly monitor and provide information on the athlete's performance under normal training and competition environments. Our lab is involved with a lot of biochemistry. Biochemistry is the study of the chemical processes in the biological systems. We develop biosensors for continuous monitoring of physiological changes in the body of an athlete whilst they are training. A biosensor is an analytical device which converts a biological response into an electrical signal. They are small and most importantly, uh, they are portable uh, product which can be easily used on the training track. A range of bodily fluids are monitored in the lab, including saliva, blood, tissue and sweat. Some sensors operations are based on action of an enzyme. Enzymes are naturally occurring highly specific catalysts that speed up reaction. When the enzyme lets go, it returns to normal, ready to do another reaction. The substrate is no longer the same. The substrate is now called the product. In lactate sensors, we use lactate oxidase enzyme, which converts lactate in the presence of oxygen into hydrogen peroxide and pyruvate. The information obtained by these sensors is used to aid coaches to improve the training program for the athletes and follow the progress. Information on lactate and oxygenation levels help to optimize the training regimes of athletes. For example, training at lactic threshold improves endurance. During intensive physiological exercise such as running or cycling, oxygen consumption in muscles is enhanced. Oxygen consumption increases as long as cardiorespiratory system is capable of delivering oxygen to muscles. Doing really well. VO2 max is the highest rate at which oxygen can be taken up and utilized by the body during severe exercise. VO2 max value depends on many things such as gender and age, but most importantly it depends on the fitness level. During anaerobic, that is, oxygen-poor training, lactate production is faster than lactate removal, which results in a lactate buildup in the body. Normal lactate levels in blood and tissue are very low. However, after intensive training and lactate threshold is reached, the concentration of lactate can rise rapidly. Lactate threshold is one of the most important parameters in training, as it indicates a fitness level and it is the best available predictor of athlete's performance. Sweating um, can give us valuable information about the hydration status and electrolyte balance. That's why recording sweat composition and sweat loss together with heart rate and breathing can give us a better picture for physiological status of the athlete. With the sweat loss and loss of valuable minerals in the body, uh, symptoms can be headache, dizziness, vomiting, nausea, cramping of the muscles and increased body temperature. There are large variations in sweat rate and sweat concentration between different individuals, but also within the same individual between different body parts. Therefore, to obtain good results, repeatable results, it is necessary to put the sweat sensor always in the same location. So in our lab we also develop implantable glucose sensors for glucose monitoring in tissue. Here is an example of one such sensor. It has a glucose enzyme on the end of the tip. Glucose sensors are very important worldwide because of the diabetes, which is a disease which is spreading rapidly around the whole world, which is linked to the modern lifestyle, sedentary works and the high calorific food. This is a strip which can measure blood glucose from a fingertip very quickly. However, a person with diabetes has to monitor glucose all the time, so it can become very painful, it's unpleasant. Developing minimally invasive sensors which could be in tissue, which could monitor glucose, could be a much better approach.
the life of the researcher is so interesting and so different every day. Uh, the thing that you do today, uh, new experiments, new trial, and that uh, this can help somebody somewhere, this inspires me to see the real ap application of the devices that we are developing. <music>